what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and remove the cable clamp first off the off of the uh, cable. You'll see a little bit of electrical tape around these connection points right here. The reason why I do that is because if you don't do that, it keeps a little opening right here between the two cables, the dead end and the live end. And when it comes up out of the water, it picks up trash and debris. So all I'm doing is just keeping this little area closed. It just keeps all of the trash and debris from collecting right here. So all I'm going to do is just cut the, the, the electrical tape. I take a I take my hammer and there's a wedge on the inside. I'm gonna tap on it just a little bit just to make sure it's loose. And then I take a punch. I put a punch on top of the wedge and I drive the wedge out. Okay. So all I wanna do is just gain a little bit more slack in this cable and pull the wedge out. Take your cable out and pull it completely away from the machine. Just let it hang there, it's fine. Now we do the same thing to the other side. Okay, our cables are disconnected, our hoses are disconnected and secured in the back on the hose reels. So right now I can remove these uh, cables off. The problem with that is, is as I rotate this around, the T-bar is just gonna keep traveling around until it hits the lower limit and that's all I can get out of it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna just bump it downward. So you can see the cables, the cable drums are turning. The T-bar is moving around to, to the mid proximity switch. It won't stop. Sometimes you'll get this. All you gotta do is just take and unravel it. So you can come down more. Just pull a little bit. At this point, I stop and I start looking for the master length of this chain. This chain goes back to that reducer for your T-bar. Again, it's only gonna lower it to that lower limit. It's gonna stop. Instead of moving my limits around, it's much easier to remove this chain. So I'm going to bump it around until I see the master link. Okay, there's the master link. And I'm also at the lower limit. See, I cannot go down anymore. The T-bar is underneath it. So all I'm doing is removing the master link. And as a word of caution, I always put the master link inside this uh, channel iron frame right here. That way I don't lose it. The T-bar is neutralized. I backed it off. By taking it off, I backed it off the lower limit. So now it should still continue to go down. I'm still fitting it off. As you can see, it's starting to come down in size or width. Okay, right there it is. I have no more wraps on here. I take my crescent wrench, loosen up on my clamp. So all I'm gonna do is put my gloves back on. We're gonna pull that loose. I'm still holding on to the cable on the other side. And then I'm gonna drop it, drop it to the ground. 